What's going on guys, Spider here, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at today, if you're a Destiny player, probably one of the best apps on the planet, yes, it's the Destiny Item Manager, I know a lot of you guys probably know about this thing, and uh, may or may not be using it, but a lot of you probably don't know about it, so we're going to run through it, it's a Google Chrome app, okay, and uh, if you just go into Google and type in, you know, Google search engine Destiny Item Manager, you'll come up with this, Mine's already added to Chrome, as you can see, you can add it to Chrome if you don't have it already, and we're going to take a look at it here, okay? So here is the app, all right? Now, I will say one thing. There was something that uh, came up in their uh, their latest revision or whatever, so I'm going to show you this little warning message, okay? So, you know, you got to use this at your own risk. I'm sure it's fine, but... It states now that it can read and change your data on all Bungie.net sites. I don't know what that means. I re-enabled it. I don't know exactly what that means. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up on uh, the Bungie site. I don't think it will be, but uh, like I said, use it at your own risk, all right? I am, okay? So don't come back to me and say, oh, it messed up my data on Bungie site. Well, it gave you the warning. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I'm just showing you the app, okay? So it's pretty cool. I got my three hunters, right? So I have my hunter, my awoken uh, female up here, my exo female, and my human male. And you can see all my weapons. Now, the only reason I have these, um, these uncommon is because if I transfer all my weapons over, like at one point I was transferring all my weapons to other characters or into storage, um, so I had these weapons just as placeholders so I can keep them in my inventory. I mean, if you don't didn't have them, then I couldn't... I couldn't uh, swap over every single weapon, but you know my storage. I mean, even though they expanded the storage in Destiny, it's still not enough. I still have to have multiple weapons on multiple characters, which makes this app even more ideal. Okay, so I can take these guns. Like, see these guns here. I have my uh, my Fate Bringer. Uh, let's say I wanted my uh, Red Death on my character. I can just bring my Red Death. Okay, we look in game, we look at our inventory, and now the Red Death actually is in our inventory, and we can get rid of our uh, Galahorn, we can throw on our Hunger of Crota, and uh, then we can put our Red Death on, okay? And you can do this, like I'm on Earth, I'm just uh, on a, um, you know, a scouting or whatever. Uh, I'm not in a mission. You can be in mission, you can be in the Prison of Elders, you can be in Crucible, you can be in Trials of Osiris, it'll still work. The only thing it won't do is if I go and actually try and put, and, and it doesn't update, like I just I just took my Red Death and actually uh, applied it to my equipped weapon. So you actually have to refresh the app here um, in order for it to update here. Like the app will update it in-game, but the in-game won't update it on the app automatically, okay? So there we go, we've got our Red Death in our inventory now, right? Or on our uh, equipped as our weapon. Um, you can't actually anymore. I thought you could do this before, but I can't take my Fate Bringer and equip it as my usable weapon. So I must either be logged off or in orbit to perform this action. We could do that before. I swear I could do that before, before this latest update. But, uh, but you can't now, which is not that big a deal. At least you can transfer stuff out of your inventory. Um, I can take the, uh, the Vision of Confluence. I can put it into storage, and then I can get another weapon if I want. Let's say I want the Scholar Adept, then I bring that over, and boom, it's done, all right? So let's just put it back just so we have some room in our um, in our main inventory on our character. So, and the same thing exists for armor. Um, you know, you can, <laughs> you know, let's say I, I'm running uh, the Prison of Elders on my Awoken Female, and I want to transfer all my stuff over to my Hunter Exo Female, then I can just do this, and that's why also I have the placeholders for the armor. So it's it's more, you can see it more visually with the armor than you can with the weapons. So I can take all my armor off these characters, and then I have placeholder armor that they can just have. So if I want to transfer over my armor, I can do this. Uh, no, i got to be logged off or in orbit to perform this action. So you can't, again, you can't take equipped items that are actually equipped on your character. But you can do this, uh, throw that armor over there. We'll throw this armor over there. Uh, we'll do this and then this, okay? So this character is logged off. Um, I could do a transfer like this, right? I could have actually gone directly onto the equipped items because that character is not logged in. I'm currently logged in on my main character, right? So um, if we go back to the game and we actually go to, uh, we got to go to orbit, okay? So I'll go to orbit. And then we can actually swap out items that are equipped. And we can even change our uh, subclass. So I can switch from Blade Dancer to, uh, to Gunslinger and vice versa 
once we're actually in orbit. So let's do that. We'll swap that. There's a gunslinger. Look at our character. Uh, we can swap in the fate bringer. We can swap in the found verdict. And let's throw in tomorrow's answer. Okay, so there we go. So it's all equipped. Um, same thing, I mean, with all your general items here, you can do the same thing. You can swap them between characters. And because these aren't equipped, you should be able to swap them as much as you want. I don't, I misclicked there. I apologize. Uh, you can swap shaders. You can swap, uh, emblems. I mean, you can even do your ghosts, your ships, your, uh, your sparrows. Okay, everything. Postmaster, it will show you stuff in the Postmaster, but you can't actually swap stuff out of your Postmaster. You have to physically go to the Postmaster in-game and get it. Now, the other cool thing is you can create loadouts. So if you notice here, I have a Prison of Elders loadout and a Trials of Osiris loadout. And it applies to each of my characters uh, because they're all hunters. I'm not sure how exactly it would work if you have, you know, different uh, classes of characters, okay? But, you know, let's go to the, my, uh, my Prison of Elders. Let's edit that. And you can see at the bottom now, these are all the things that I have selected for Prison of Elders. So I usually have Blade Dancer, so I have my Invisibility. I like my Fate Bringer, my Murmur, because I can swap between, um, uh, what is it, Arc and uh, Solar damage with that Fusion Rifle. And then, of course, the Galahorn. And then there are my Armor Pieces. I have a particular Cloak that I like and a particular Shader. Okay, so I have Aru's Passage, Shader. All right, my Prison of Elders is a little bit different. Uh, let's close that. Sorry, we're gonna... That was the Prison of Elders. Sorry, my Trials of Osiris, I should say, is a little bit different. So, Trials of Osiris, I use Golden Gun, Gunslinger, alright? I use my Thorn, I got a Sniper Rifle, and then I have my Tomorrow's Answer, uh, Rocket Launcher, okay? And then these are the armor pieces I wear. I, I, I swap out my armor. I don't actually have, um... What don't I have in there? Yeah, I don't have Gauntlets. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't put Gauntlets in there. But uh, we can add that. So let's add the gauntlets. Um, let's just uh, pick this one. There. So we add the gauntlets. We click on it. So the red indicates items with the red in, uh, icon will be equipped. Click on an item. Toggle equip. So And then there's the shader and the cloak. So let's save that. And let's, uh, you know, we're in our inventory right now in game. So let's go to our Prison of Elders. So we just select our Prison of Elders. And it automatically equips everything that I want to run in the Prison of Elders. I already had some things equipped, uh, like the Fate Bringer, but it equips everything. The armor, the cloak, the shader, everything, right? And then let's go and click on my Trials of Osiris. So it's Friday afternoon, right? Friday afternoon, we want to play Trials of Osiris. It just opened up 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to click on that. It's going to swap me out. Come on, baby. There's my Thorn, right? My Sniper. My Tomorrow's Answer, there goes the armor. I use this uh, Crest of Alpha Loopy because it helps me um, pick up, you know, revive my teammates. Okay, faster. There's the cape. I use the, the Glow Who shader, and it actually transferred over my Gunslinger as well. Pretty damn awesome, especially, you know, if you're in-game and you forget a gun. I mean, it used to be, oh, well, we got to go back to orbit and, and grab your gun out of storage and then come back into the game. This thing is awesome. If you don't have this and you have three characters, you have no idea what you are missing out on, all right? This thing is absolutely fantastic. I think I've covered pretty much everything there is to cover with this. I mean, you know, we can start swapping stuff out into our uh, into our storage. Um, you know, you can't really delete stuff. I mean, you can't dismantle anything or delete stuff. You actually have to do that in game. But uh, like I said, it's a pretty fantastic app. And seriously, if you don't have this, you need to get it because it's awesome. But like I said, there are, you know, with that uh, with that warning message that I showed you, uh, I don't know how it would impact data on Bungie's site. I know that warning comes up. I just accepted it and continued. Uh, but it's up to you guys, okay? Thought I'd bring this to you. Uh, like I said, most of you probably already know about it. But for those that don't, uh, especially the loadouts, that's the first time I've actually set up the loadouts in preparation for this video. And I gotta say, it's pretty damn awesome. And you know you can you can swap right. So I want I want uh, my exo female, because let's say you you went nine and zero with your one character on Trials of Osiris. You want to go uh, nine and zero on your other character. I know I know that was the uh, Prison of Elders, or I want to do you know the level thirty five Prison of Elders now because I've done it on my my other character already. I want to do it on this character. So we just swap it out, right? We just do a, a loadout and boom, you load in your second character in game and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Save so much time, so much time. 
So guys, that's it. That's what I wanted to bring you today. Uh, tomorrow, or probably later this evening, we're going to have a video probably on uh, the Bungie update that usually comes up Thursday evening. And uh, then we'll be looking at Xur tomorrow morning, very early tomorrow morning on Friday, uh, as well as the Trials of Osiris on Friday afternoon. We'll be live streaming that over on NGT Live. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time, guys. Spider out.